Welcome to John's Weird Week. Coming up, find out why Hero Condoms is spreading STIs on Tinder. Is it ethical to build a robot that looks just like Scarlett Johansson? And see how a Chinese company is killing and resurrecting people. First, Hero Condoms is matching Australians with sexually transmitted infections on Tinder to warn them of the dangers posed by unprotected sex. The condom company set up profiles including Sid Phyllis, Herpia and Chad Madea to expose the telltale rashes, seepages and burning pains Tinder users may feel after a regretful hookup. If matches can survive chat-up lines like who's down for a bit of cervix and chill, they will leave armed with free condoms and the wisdom to dodge genital rot during future rendezvous. Taking this on board, I became John Aria, a contagious bad boy with viral appeal and against all the odds. He appealed to the ladies more than my actual profile. Next, on the subject of people only capable of finding love using an electronic device, a Hong Kong designer has built a robot resembling an unnamed Hollywood actress. Ricky Ma's $50,000 doll remained anonymous for legal reasons, but has been identified as Scarlett Johansson by absolutely anyone with eyes. The Mark I took 18 months to build, is comprised of a 3D skeleton, is wrapped in silicon skin, and can move and react to his actions. Ma hasn't confirmed if the Mark I fully emulates the female anatomy, but I can tell you, in my opinion, a man does not go to all that effort and expense to not have sex with his robot. You are so cute. Yeah, thank you. Ma can be sued if he profits from the use of Johansson's likeness. One suggestion is a seedy cyborg brothel. On the other hand, there's no legal precedent for a man marrying a robot based on someone else's likeness. And finally, a Chinese company is simulating death with a unique cremation and rebirth experience. Participants sit in a circle and discuss a life or death scenario. They then decide who should die to save the group. One unlucky individual is then locked in a fake furnace and burned alive before being rebirthed through a latex womb. Something I really hope the Scarlett Johansson bot doesn't have. Within the death chamber in Shanghai, entrants have reported enlightening final reflections before they are cindered and rebirthed. However, I think the journey more closely resembles that of a free-range chicken. Hand-picked, roasted in an oven, and then squeezed out of a tight orifice. And that's all for this week. Thanks for watching. Keep on doing that. If you like it, give your man McCarthy a bit of support and spread it like comedia. Catch. Find out which supermarket doesn't want scousers in its adverts. How Microsoft's artificially intelligent teenage girl descended into madness and how a travel company exploited Egypt Air's recent hijack hijinks to sell holidays.